Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, final day of the trial, let's get started. I'm on the wrong end of the spectrum. Hold on. Hold on. Just recorded some Zelda, if you can't guess. Let me fix something really quick. And a boosh! That's better. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime... What, phone? <sighs> Fine. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. It really isn't acting like someone who just... Generally, I see Edrith as someone who would... Or, like, so far you'd see Edrith as someone who would just try to get his verdict. But this doesn't sound like he's trying to get his verdict. This sounds like he's just trying to get the truth. Very well. Just seems a bit on edge today. I wonder why. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a proce. If I continued, I would have said procedure. I'm pretty sure a person isn't a procedure. I think. Give me a sec to ponder this. Yeah, a person's not a procedure. <laughs> Will the witness state her name and occupation? Divas Kiss. I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. And I just like need this bet. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Ooh. Prediction, Edward is just gonna go. Like the the face he gives up when he's just like Oh my! Ah! <laughs> yep. <laughs> but very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court the testimony consent. No, now I'm speaking just in accents in general. Please give the court the, your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Calm down, Maya. R right. She's guilty. I'll catch her with her pants down. Why'd you choose that phrasing? So to speak. Why do you... That phrase would have fit better with April May. Back in like three episodes ago. No, more than that. Still! That fits April May, not her. I edited the trip. Oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12. Shut it ended at four. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had sat to At two thirty, we took a fifteen-minute break in the meal. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table. What phone? On the table in front of the chair.
You can't have spot me. When we all went to Studio One. Okay. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you. The fan. Hmm? There's a fan at Studio Two. Yeah? I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk. What with that monkey's head toppling off? Well, that just makes it possible for you to even commit the crime at Studio One at this point. Even though we all know that didn't happen. I, I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Well, thanks for telling me this is the end. That's gonna make me want to cut this episode short. Because I want to split it, like, between the end of this one and then the beginning of the next episode. Game-wise and video-wise. I entered the trip a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop at, at the employer area? No. Well, that's direct. You always this terse? Yes. Alright then. <laughs> oh dear. No, 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 I didn't want to do that. Did no one leave during the meeting? No. What's with the dot, dot, dot? Come on. Let's talk a bit more about that. Witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that to me! Edgeworth, do not! Stop interrupting the testimony. Oh, shut up! Same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Now I kind of... I don't even know. It's... it's... You! <laughs> As, please, and please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. Ow! You snooze your own. Well, that doesn't mean. <laughs> How does that make any sense? And when exactly was that? I forgot. Really? You're gonna forget. Ah! Maybe you could try remembering? The meeting ended at 4, and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. No! You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. I was fatigued. So okay. Hold on. You had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 bed. Oh. Right. A 2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. BANG! I know you said not to do that, but BANG! Oops. 
did not mean to do that. <sighs> what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Re Fuck you, Edgeworth! You just did it! Oops! Yeah. It was a 15 minute break. Sorry about Okay. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal? Yeah, I don't even need to... N no, I mean someone else. One person is enough. She committed murder during that break. She wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. Find some evidence to prove she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick, find anything? Kind of wish she'd say it, she'd say it a little more. Tyler, I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That last statement, wait. I already know what's wrong here. There's no way it was T-Bone Steak because there's always a bone in there and there was no bone on their plates. So, first time I played this, I was so stumped. It's this plate. I thought I, I thought I missed something. Nope. Ha, ah, as I thought. You claim you ate a T-Bone Steak, but I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. Thanks, Captain Obvious. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will. Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manila ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Did you plan on eating the bone or something? <laughs> Miss Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. I mean, this is possible, I guess. I don't see how this is relevant. Elementary, you were eating a boneless steak. I seriously don't see how this is relevant to the case. Mr. Wright, say you are right. What would that prove? Exactly. Um, right, Your Honor. Nick, remember her testimony? She said she ate a T-bone steak. She said bone. Correct. I was testing you. Yeah, sure, Nick. Sorry, can I try that one more time? You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like that incinerator. I see. Then what was Miss Vesca's doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? <laughs> Meeting the steel scent. Well, since I know the answer, that's actually what happened. She was meeting with the steel samurai. And no, not powers. Order! Oh, are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak. She ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. M Mr. Wright, it isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. But here I was worrying that today was 
would be as boring as all the rest. Excuse me? Ex what? What are you implying? You Am I a boring fuck to you or something? Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Oh, for the love of Really? We're gonna go at it? Tuzzle! Come at me, bruh! Not gonna stop getting messages, I can say that much. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. I'm not gonna need it. Let's see. What was the murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yeah? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use the heavy spear as a weapon? You couldn't, because I don't think it wasn't the spear. You couldn't, could you? I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. You see. Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? Samurai Spear was not the mur- Murder weapon! What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. <sighs> There's my proof. Isn't this it? Yeah. This has to be it. There you go. Wrong, Mr. Wright. But I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough by now to know when you're going to present the wrong evidence. I can sense it too. It's my favorite blood. Okay, okay, so I picked the wrong evidence. Enough with the, all of the sensing. All right, here's the real evidence. Maybe the... We're trying to prove that that's not the murder, murder weapon? Well... I... I... Huh? I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. But, but That is the murder weapon! Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the morning action scene run-through. But someone fixed their spear. This is the security lady. She fixed it with a duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Fair point. That'd be a lot of lot to go through for a broken prop. O order, order, Mr. Wright. What are you driving at? Think about what your... Sense. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be hurt. <laughs> Edgeworth is just getting pushed around today. Are you quite safe? Are you even aware of what you're saying? Oh, that's Vasquez. Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spirit was not the murder of them, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer Kit? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what we're- Okay, now I present- I can! Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Fair enough. 
Very well. Let's see this murder weapon then. Now I present this! Okay, I did that out of order. Look at this photo. What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. That is correct. Oh, order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with this, with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the fallen man in the photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? There it is! Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. She's like, how did you figure it out? Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Misty Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. What does that look for? In, in other words, the, the, the victim, Ms. Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die? Didn't I just say this? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna sound like an elephant. Ah! I can't even. I can't even. Ah! <laughs> At this point, that's my response to you. Ah! <laughs> Five years ago. No. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? What, Vasquez? Very creative. Very creative, Mr. Frightens. I could use the pen. You are my script writing staff. Isn't that just like literally one person? Okay. In reality, it's more like five or six people, but still. You deny that what I say is true. Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died in that trailer as you said. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? The van. Really? You're gonna make this argument after pointing out the van to me? The van! And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One? And return to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break. How could you have disposed of the body? The van. The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Jack Hammer had been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside the costume. There wasn't enough time. Right? How could she have dealt with the body? She had another way. Or she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands. For instance... THE VAN! Do I have to shout it to the high heavens? THE VAN! <laughs> Act 
actually, for the matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. I interesting. Let's hear that. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. The van. The van. Ah! Mrs. Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the Studio Van to do it. Yep. She's like, oh my god, you're figuring it out! Why? Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to the Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had to sell tape. There was a bed there, right? I had to sell tray. Yep. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Objection! What?! Do I have to push you around even more for you to shut up? Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? I mean, yeah. Of course Sal Manella has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. You don't think she did it alone, did she, do you? <laughs> Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to- What? I'm gonna scream at my phone! I'm gonna turn it off! Ah! They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in the small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. I lose. You win. It was fun. That's how it ends? This seems a bit too, uh, easy. I win? Just outright silence? Okay. Uh, so what happens next? Are you serious? You cannot be serious with me. Don't. Question? She does. She's silent, basically. You don't go question mark. Don't question me. Do you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost. Something like she just said that. <laughs> well, wait, so you mean D. Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer. That should have been a question. Are we done yet? Who can say? Are you kidding me? Are you sure I did it? Mr. Wright. You just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered him. Right. This is getting us nowhere. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. <sighs> you lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. I mean, not really. You put two and two to get... Order! Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Uh, 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 of course, it's as the witness says. <coughs> Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it. But, uh, there's no proof. 
Are you kidding, Edgeworth? Are you joking? I will shove you off the stand, boy! <laughs> well, I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be free. What do I do now? You did it, Vasquez! You did it! Miss Vasquez, you did it. That, was a, that wasn't a question. Did you do it? There, it's a question now. No. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? I'm not sure that question helped this court get any closer to the verdict. Then it's testify again. I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again. No, we would to, no, would to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn! Damn! To come so far only to fail. As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. What? Excuse you? Um... Have you had not- have you not had enough torture yet? Do I have to keep shoving you around? Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was object- What?! I didn't. Kinda figured that one. I see. Very well. <laughs> what? I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Mm, well, yeah, um... In case you guys can't tell, I'm banging my head against the desk. <laughs> Edgeworth, come on! Indeed, verily I say, Erica, oh, you're not helping. Edgeworth, why? You've already driven me insane twice in this episode in the past 33 minutes. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. What? Okay. Nick? Why did you have to... Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But, but... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that... I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. That's a known fact. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. Security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did. I 
has to be locked out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. No. Mm -mm. Hmm. I see no issues raised by the testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now. If you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. You sound a lot like your sister, Mia. Right. What was the time? We went to meet at five for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. What exactly did you, did you and Mr. Manella? When did ex? <laughs> About ten minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Bull freaking crap! Press harder. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They worked there. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Well? Then you could have put Hammer into that costume with San Sal Manella's help. Oh. What did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costume? You should try to listen to listen to what people are saying, boy. A boy? I take offense to that. I am 24 just like he is. The witness will continue her testimony. However, I'm not going to be 24 for much longer anyway, so eh. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did you know? Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us. Yet you expect me to be calm? You certainly seemed calm enough when I ac accused you. Ac accused. Accused. When I accused you of murder. I could do of Mar Mordar. Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around. You just covered a murder body. A murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez. <laughs> Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his stiff salmon costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Poor Powers. Hmm. Well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez, you may continue. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. Wow! Um, that's very, uh... Eee, wouldn't want to be around you people. It was sudden, completely sudden. So, we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry, I'm late. Then, sense. Dead? to give you. I can feel my heart beating on my right arm as I'm trying to be silent.
<sighs> okay, there you go. There's the demon silence right there. Oh, we were gonna get some anyway, okay. I am being silent. Sil hey, hey, Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? The demon of silence. Did you figure it out? Someone should do something to lighten things up. The security lady. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Shut up! Oh, wrong button. Back. The security lady. Why did the security lady think Paras had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right. Still samurai. Hold on, but we already clarified that it didn't happen. Did the detective arrest Mr. Paras based solely on the security lady's word? We already know the fact on this too, that he didn't. She said this. Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard of this after the fact. That photograph, being the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hannah. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in there I can use. I have to be left out of proceedings. Why? That's my ultimate question. Why? You asked, asked, you asked to be left out? You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. I mean, Fifth Amendment, man. Well, the US at least. You have the right to speak, but you also have the right to stay silent, so. But you can't just decide wh who the police will and won't question. Well, they can question her. That doesn't mean she have to. She has to answer. Well, there might be consequences, but I mean, still. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in me in a meeting, there was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Um. Yeah, that would be another one. There must have been a lot riding on it. Yeah! With all those bigwigs at the meeting, I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone that they didn't require requ questioning. The script, and your, the script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. I won't do to have them still. No, I guess not. Press harder. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after- If what you were claiming is true, then you wouldn't have known that! Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please continue. I think Edgeworth saw what I saw. Your Honor! I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Thank you! At least someone's paying attention! Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. At least Edgeworth's thinking properly! <laughs> order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth! What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of... 
I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Ms. Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe that there would be no hustle. Hmm. Very well, the witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hat was injured and couldn't do much any action scenes, so I left them behind. How would you know? You weren't there! Thought I had an image that. Okay, I guess not. Presser. What happened to the image? Thought I had an image that showed hammer and. Oh, wait, no, that's just a flash. Never mind. How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Seth. He told me. Oh, okay, fair enough. Sal, the director. Hmm. You have to find something to practice on, Heather. Or everything you've done till now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. Okay. Some power shut up. Wait a minute. It wasn't up. It wasn't... No, it wasn't Hammer who was... <laughs> I think it's this. Bingo! You knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. But what?! What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in the photo. That's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretend One person was injured in the run-through on that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I already said it was Seth who told me. That's right. You must have gotten it wrong. I don't think so. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who got injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. You saw Hammer limping. You didn't hear from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! Oh. And when he was doing this... Well? It would have to be... It would have... Oh my. Would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Are we done here? 
We're going. We. She's right. We're going in circles. She said this earlier. We're basically going in circles. Could have just ended with the verdict not guilty there. Order, order. I will have order. Witness, can you refute this claim? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. You sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. What? Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want to give Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? There is a reason it is unclear to the court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Hmm. I don't think I can. Because I don't think she had a motive. If I remember correctly, she did not have a motive. Hey, no! Saying you can't prove it now would be a name defeat. She took it away. But, but what proof could I possibly have? I don't care if it's impossible, you still have to fight this one. The only proof I could think of would be the thing from five years ago. Okay, I have proof and I'll show it to you. Present the court evidence as to Mr. Vasquez's motive to the murder. This is the only thing I can think of. This is my proof. This is, this is the photo from before. Yeah, and? This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? <laughs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial began on, the, on that day. Five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed on it, weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. He made him work for you for petty change. <laughs> Bringing us to the present day, in Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Mm hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. You're not too far off, Judge. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Y yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have... No reason to kill Mr. Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I'd never get rid of useful men. It's a policy. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. She has no motive! It's not her! Ugh. This guy doesn't get it. He's not... She had no motive! Just in case I'm gonna save. She had no motive. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. Yeah. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. 
Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. And we're done. So you did it, didn't you? Yes, I'm guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance! There's blood everywhere! We're too late! Ah, Miss Vasquez! What? What happened here? Then you all fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel. Manuel! Miss Vasquez, please, try to remain calm. No! No! How could this... It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No. Manuel! Manuel! Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No! Oh, I see what's... Why do I get the feeling Manuel was... I never considered this, but why do I get the feeling Manuel was her lover or something like that? Please, please don't die! Please! Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Okay. <laughs> I don't love him. Mr. Edgeworth, where's Steve Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm as and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have brought about a, yet another miracle. I... thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Fair enough. Yes. Yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Not guilty. I did it! Again! That is all. This court is adjourned. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder? Makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? I'm sure I have evidence, but I don't know. Just in case I miss this up, because I want to see what's if there's much of a difference between the two. Okay. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... This? It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once. But he was reduced to acting in a kid's show. And as the villain too. As the villain to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He, he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. You and me both, man. This particular trial is starting to drive me insane. So am I... So am I... 
So are you what? Congratulations, FUP. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. Literally, once. <laughs> Can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume, man. Uh, about that. I is something wrong? N no, uh, of course not. Ah! Hey, Nick! Edgeworth! Hi! Hi! <laughs> I'm sorry about the shoving and pushing and stuff. Don't hurt me! <laughs> That's it? Just silence? Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Uh... That was too bad, Edgeworth. Is that really all you can say? You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Ah, uh, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. <laughs> you don't know that! <laughs> right? I must say, I haven't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Well, that's just, that's just dark. Um, uh, Mr. Wright, was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if. They're rivals. Rivals. Right, Nick? I mean, rivals can be friends. For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Because you are. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Eh, well, I mean... Yeah. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Right? <laughs> All of it, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You had to buy trading cards too. <laughs> what the hell? You have to trade with Cody and the assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? Okay, that's just weird. But okay, sure. I wonder if they'll show us real face this time. Doubtful. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready to see the real world powers. It kind of looks like Wolverine, honestly, and I know I've said this before, but... just If he was a real-life actor that looked like that, pfft, give him that role. Alright. So we're going to save this for next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button in. So far, you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got any suggestions for me? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out any footage I've done in the past or I'm currently working on now, click the box down over there. Or if you want to check out the rest of this playlist, uh, see what's gone down so far if you missed anything, or just see the rest of it as well, depending on where I am in making this, when you see this, click the box across from my head over here. In the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!